guys, I figured I'd get around and make a video on um, how to modify your hull plug. This is probably the worst uh, part of an e-bike when it comes to um, functionality. Like these things are terrible. They lose connection because they, they jiggle around, they're not very tight. Uh, they're not sealed very well. As you can see on this side, it's got some rubber in there. Uh, you can use You can use hot glue on these. Um, if you want, if you have to keep it the way it is, I recommend you shoot some hot glue on this side, around the edges of the plug, and on this side here. And that should pretty much hold it together. But uh, for anyone who is having problems with this, with this hull plug, what you can do is actually pull all the pins out, and um, I'm gonna, we're gonna heat shrink all the uh, the pins so it's universal with any plug and uh, it also seals better uh, but the getting this apart is why I made the video to help out anybody who's new to e-bikes this pin that's in there looks like this this being the casing and on the side of the pin it has a barb and when you push the pin in that locks the pin and keeps it from pulling out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in there and on the one side you'll be able to see it. You're going to take a screwdriver and basically push that pin flush with the rest of the pin. And then it'll just pop out like that. And as you can, you can see the barb. It's right there. You do that to all of them. And then we'll uh, heat shrink them. The, as you can see, make them all straight. And... When you put the heat shrinking over the pin, don't leave a lot of it exposed, just the just the very end, maybe about that much. I'll leave a link in the description where if you don't know what the heat shrink tubing is, you can pick it up off, off of Amazon pretty cheap. You can get like 300 pieces for five bucks. And then you just heat it up, and as you can see it shrinks pretty good. Now what that does is it seals water out from the wire to the clip and then what you can do you can either push it into the socket like that which is more watertight and then silicone or um, hot glue all around once you got all the pins through or pushed in and uh, I'll also show you uh, what I've done on my controller because my controller is newer and it has a different type of socket than this and uh, why this is a better better route to go Okay, hopefully you can see that. As you can see, this is a newer, um, a newer plug. Uh, it's still uh, five, it's a five pin. There's no extra plug there. I guess there's an extra hole there if you wanted to add the um, temps sensor wire, but this one doesn't have it. But as you can see, you would use um, you don't know those pliers to push the pins in because they're pretty tight. But that'll give you a nice watertight seal because the last thing you want is water in that. Um, a lot of manufacturers, what they do is, like I said, they either hot glue it or they wrap a plastic baggie around it and then they tie wrap it. Um, but uh, the standard plug is, they, if you can get rid of it, I would because the, it's a, when they wear and they jiggle around, they, um, they give you nothing but problems. But uh, this is a better solution because it's more universal. So now I can either put those pins in a standard plug or I obviously this type. I figured I'd make that video real quick and um, to help anybody who's new to it. So later guys.